school and today I'll just be talking about how I did well in school. I'll put my exam transcript at the end of this video, kind of like an appendices in a report, just to show that I am credible. I studied in Tomasic Polytechnic and I studied information technology. We go by a GPA system, kind of like the American high school. I'm going to be sharing 10 study tips and secrets. I hope that they'll be useful to you. But without further ado, let's start with the first tip, which is to start strong. There's a reason that I put this as the first tip because I really believe that starting strong is so important and by starting strong i mean academically but also starting strong by making a good first impression to your peers and especially your teachers and i think it definitely helps when the teacher knows that they're marking a pleasant student's exam script i think it does make a difference and the reason why i say start strong is because if you do well in the first semester teachers will remember you and there's a lot of things that the teachers can do to help you stay among the top and of course you can start strong but it doesn't really mean much if you don't stay consistent so the second tip is to stay consistent and to stay consistent you can make notes but ultimately you definitely have to keep up with assignments and homework um, it's it's non-negotiable I think those things definitely help in your studies and your notes can be handwritten or typed out I know that a lot of people vouch by did I say vouch by I mean vouch for sorry handwritten notes because it does help there's just something about writing things out slowly that lets it go into your brain better. I definitely attest to that. I am studying information technology, but although I'm on my computer the whole time, a lot of my notes are handwritten. Another thing that you have to be consistent in is keeping up with your emails. Our school, for example, the teachers do send out emails to us to update us on assignment changes or deadline extensions and things like that. So reading your emails is definitely very important. But if your school doesn't use the email system, you could refer to your school portal or website if that's what your school uses. And the third tip is to make your notes early so that revision can start earlier and I know procrastination is a real struggle but I think it's really important to make notes early for example what I did was when the next week's lecture came out I would quickly make my own notes so I'd have more time to revise it and look over it and I think this definitely helps because when you have more time to look through something the more familiar it is and the better you can remember things which I think definitely helps and the fourth tip is to stay motivated I know when things get tough when things get really overwhelming it's so hard to stay motivated and stay inspired by what you want to do. You could make smaller goals one step at a time. So I would split my life journey into different segments. So after poly would be university. So I would make a goal in university and that kept me motivated. Or you could even follow some study YouTube channels where they do stationary hauls and such and it's just so appealing and it really makes me want to study. Or you could make a Pinterest board for study inspiration. That's what I did and it's really very very helpful. Whatever works for you, whatever helps you stay motivated, this is so important. Because if you are motivated and you enjoy what you do, studying just becomes fun and you do it more and you do better so tip number five is don't waste your holidays i know that holidays are time of relaxation catching up with friends and family so important that is so important but of course it's also equally important to prepare for the next semester or the next year. So I think the modules that you're taking for your next academic year is quite accessible, either through the school website or by emailing or asking your teachers. So it's really helpful to get your curriculum or modules out so that you can see what you're taking for the next semester and you can study accordingly. And tip number six is group projects. And one thing that I want to share about my experience in group projects is that it's not so important to group with people who are smart and knowledgeable. It's more important to group with people that you know that you can work with because knowledge can be acquired, but things like teamwork and friendship, these things take really long to forge and it's so much more important to group with people that you know are efficient and you know that you can cooperate with, who listen to you and you listen to them. It's so much more important than grouping with smart, intelligent people. And tip number seven is to make to-do lists and schedules. I know that I made a ton of to-do lists. It used to be handwritten in a notebook, but after I got my iPad, I used my iPad instead to make my to-do list and it's, it's pretty much the same. And it was really helpful because it helped me stay focused. It helped me kind of visualize the things I had to do for the day and it didn't make me feel so overwhelmed because I could visually see the list of things that I had to do. Tip number eight is that there's no point winning a battle but losing the war. And I say this because it's so important if you want to do well in school to really 
pay attention to every single module or subject that you have. It's not good to focus on one and get a distinction and neglect your other modules. So I think it's really important to pay an equal amount of attention to each of your modules. Or if you know that you are weaker in one particular module, then spend more time on that one. I think it's good to pull that grade up so that you can win across all your more okay and for tip number nine it's to prioritize well-being it's not exactly a study tip but it is connected and related to how well you study and how well you perform in school honestly because if you sleep well you eat well and your mental health is in check it definitely makes you a lot happier and doing what you want to do is a lot easier so i think it's definitely important to take care of yourself throughout your school journey. You're so young and you don't want to have health problems down the line as well. Tip number 10 is to have a support system or journaling. So I know that some people are quite individualistic and they don't want to bother even though you're not exactly bothering because I'm pretty sure your friends and family do want to be there for you but I know some people don't want to bother their family and friends with, with how they're feeling, with their problems or with their emotions. Journaling is an amazing alternative. I know that I did a lot of journaling and I will probably continue to do so. Journaling is really helpful because it kind of lets you have an outlet to express your feelings and it's really nice to look back on as well to see how far you've come or to see what has worked for you before and there's so many different kinds of journaling there's bullet journaling there's just the typical dear diary and there's also bible study journaling and i think it's so important to see what works best for you and i think journaling has definitely helped me so those are the 10 tips that i have that helped me do well in school and i do hope that i continue to do well in university that starts in august to be exact, I got a final GPA of 3.98 out of 4, and as I was saying, here are my grades. I think that's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best in your school and everything that you plan to do in the future. I hope you stay safe as well, wherever you are. Bye! Thank you.